What's up, Anamangians? And welcome back to a new video. We're going to be watching a trailer for a film called A Private War with Rosamund Pike. Not really sure what this movie is about at all. Just kind of know that there's a new trailer out for it. Could this be a movie that could be going up for Oscar consideration? I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at it and find out more information. But before we do that, if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Let's take a look at this trailer. Gentlemen, Foreign Correspondent of the Year, Marie Colton. Where did you get that eye patch? At Treasure Island. I need a photographer. Any good? The best. Can't stop thinking about it. Unless you go crazy, it's not something you get used to. War is not so terrible for governments, for they are not wounded or killed like ordinary people. Our mission is to speak the truth to power. You're prepared to sink your country in the Civil War. What happened? They've opened fire on journalists. If the government catches you, they'll kill you. I have nightmares every night. You've seen more war than most soldiers. You have to take it seriously. I hate being in a war zone. I also feel compelled to see it for myself. Because you're addicted to it. If you use the sat phone, those drones will know where we are. We don't have time! No one in their right mind would do what you do. She needs to get the hell out of there. We have to go back. We will die if we go back. I want people to know your story. You have a God-given talent for making people stop and care. Just being alive. Yeah! I see it, so you don't have to. If you lose your conviction, what hope do the rest of us have? Maybe I would have liked a more normal life. Maybe I just don't know how. It looks like Oscar bait, but some of the best kind. I love biographical films. As I've said before, it always makes me interested in who they are talking about. I need to look this person up. Who, who is she playing here? Uh, because this looks like a very, very strong woman. Okay, so she was a reporter, um, uh, apparently a very brave reporter, and she actually really did have the eye patch. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and she worked for the Sunday Times, a British newspaper, until her her death uh, in two thousand twelve. I mean, wow the 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 trailer is very rousing. It really makes you feel something for this for this character. Rosamund Pike is definitely doing a fantastic job. You can definitely see why she's been nominated for an Academy Award. Not at all misplaced there. Jamie Dornan looks like he could be doing something a little bit different. I mean, I only recognize him from the uh, Fifty Shades movies. I'm pretty sure he might want to distance himself from that fran franchise pretty heavily. And it's always good to see Stanley Tucci. I mean, come on, he's just amazing. Uh, this definitely looks like it could be um, a, uh, an Oscar darling, uh, just because it's a biographical film. It seems pretty safe uh, when it comes to Oscar consideration. I'd be very surprised if 
this movie wasn't recognized by, by the Academy, especially covering someone like her. Um, like I said, I don't know much about her. I will read up on her because I'm definitely intrigued. But I like these kind of movies that talk about really strong females uh, who, who made a difference. Uh, be, because the, these are kind of our, our unsung heroes, you know, it's just, just, just people who, who did things that, that mattered and that we don't know anything about. I've never heard of Marie Colvin, never. I've never heard of her. But her story is inspiring. It, 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 it makes you want to jump up and do something. It makes you want to jump up and make a difference. The fact that she was able to put herself through so much uh, just to get news out there, just to let people know what was going on, that's something that not a lot of people have the, the testes to, to go out there and, and do. That's, that, to me, is, a, is amazing. And she is a, is a hero. And she, she's definitely deserving of her own film. Yes, women do have other heroes other than Wonder Woman out there, real-life heroes that, that they can look up to, that can make them feel like they can do more. Um, and she is definitely an example of that. I can't wait to see how Rosamund uh, brings this person back to life and tells her, her story. And of course, the directing and everything, I want to see how all of that goes in, into play as, as well. But the movie is focused on this, on this person. So I want to see how she brings her back to life. And I really want to see if it's going to be Oscar worthy too, because it is nearing that, that season. So a whole bunch of trailers that are coming out look kind of Oscar baity. Uh, so we'll we'll see, we'll see in a few months. <laughs> what did you guys think of the trailer? Uh, did you know about Marie Colvin before this this film? And if you didn't, are you going to look her up and find out more? And how do you feel about Hollywood consistently telling us new stories about uh, these unsung female heroes uh, that young girls today can can look up to, or even young young men? She's very inspiring to me as as well. Let me know in the comment section below, and if you have not done so already, go ahead and click that subscribe button so that you can get more content like this, which contains movie news, reviews, and reactions from your boy Derek right here at Anamanji. Until next time, stay dope.